Well, so uh, my name is Sela Su. I'm a singer-songwriter from Belgium. Um, I speak Flemish. I started to play guitar when I was 14 and then I took like three years of classical training of guitar. But they didn't want to learn new chords so I got bored of it and I quit. And then I um, learned chords through the internet. Then I developed a taste and I listened to Lorne Hill, Erika Badu. Uh, really soul music, hip-hop as well. A bit. But, um, I never had the intention to become professional artist, you know, I never took schooling for singing or something, you know, I started um, study psychology when I was 18, I did uh, economics, I don't know why, when I was in high school. Yeah, you know, everything started to, to roll when I was like 19 and um, a friend of mine who worked at the bar asked me to do two songs um, because it was her birthday and I played two songs in the club and there was an artist there called Milo who's big in, in Germany and Belgium and he uh, asked me to, to uh, be his support act on tour in Belgium and uh, I thought yeah why not and he really like pushed me and gave me pressure and, and to write and he gave me advice and on that tour my manager and my booker discovered me and then I could play some festivals at the same time that I actually was studying psychology and then I thought okay I have to go or 100% for study or 100% for music and then I went for music and then I got signed with uh, Because Music which is a really cool label in France, Paris um, and now I'm at my second record and it's going really well. Still I have a very intense emotional life so I talk a lot about self-acceptance in my lyrics because that for me was a, I think it's the basic in life you know learning to accept who you are to find happiness and you know the challenge to find it to find happiness that's what I talk about in my lyrics like production wise like pure musical it's just the fact of like listening to a lot of different things and I just love a lot of different things I love jazz I love electro I love soul I love pop and I think I just absorb all of those genres and then this kind of mixture comes out the thing is um, that's what I loved about it I really wanted to have a really natural reaction of people so nobody knew that I was gonna do it it was never like a game that people knew I was coming you know it was really a surprise for the people who who uh, were walking there I did one on the tram as well on the tram and um, I went sitting down and it won't go for more really intense vocal song and it was really quiet on the tram and I, and I was saying really loud suddenly and some people thought I was a crazy woman who started to sing really and they were like looking at me and some even were like shouting like shut up while I was singing really? <laughs> yeah but that's kind of cool I like that it's like rough it's honest because when when you play on a on a on the concert they come for you and of course they they give you confirmation and they're clapping and they're laughing but now it's like mm, honesty <laughs> I think Ed Sheeran is a really amazing performer and a good songwriter and good songs as well. I mean, it, it's a matter of taste. I mean, for some it's not, for some it's a lot. For me, I wouldn't buy it, but I think it's really, he's pure, objectively, he's really good. And he's also really normal, really friendly, takes his time. It was really nice to be with him on tour. Passenger, the same, he's a really funny guy. We left a lot backstage, so he's a really uh, funny guy, also a lot of talent. Prince, yeah, that was like the best I could ever get, I think, because he took me backstage and he saw my show and he gave me advice and he was like really like a musical father or something at that moment. So that was also good. So till now I only had like good experience in meeting other artists. The funny thing is, it started with a complex. I do it already for my 14 year, years old, not even, you know, when I was an artist. Because I really had the complex that I thought my head was too big for my hair, so it needed to compensate with the big hairdo. So that's what I did for years because of that. And now I think it's just the, the best version of myself. It really fits me, I think. I think it's, um, you know, but when I'm just at home, not doing selasu things and I wear it flat and it's really easy to do it takes me like three minutes and it's I do it once and it stays like that for three days so that's really good yeah I've been to Barcelona with my friends on a city trip like I don't know like eight years ago or something 
which was really nice, but I never played here. They all said, okay, Sana do a lot of promo in Spain so we can play there. So the 25th of November, I'm gonna play in uh, Madrid, um, Joy Eslava Club. And the 26th of November, I'm gonna play at the Barcelona Jazz Festival at Luz de Gas. Was it all? Well, the seafood is here unbelievable. Eh? So I, I love the Mediterranean kitchen. That's my favorite kitchen. I love eating, I love cooking. So oh, that's just gonna be a good thing about playing here. So 